Here we go, guys. It's a been a long time since I've done like a market style video. Uh, I do still snipe a bit. I do have fun with these things, but there is something that's going to happen today that just needs to be covered and needs to be talked about. So let's run through this card really quickly, and then I'm going to tell you the impact this card is going to have on the market because it's going to change everything. Like it really will. So Dirk is by far the best card. I mean, by far, maybe maybe not. Magic is close, but he is the best card. Magic and Dirk are so far ahead of every other card in the game now, including Luca. The way I look at it is if you know how to play the game, if you know how to use animations and SIGs, Dirk and Magic are untouchable. If you're kind of not as good at the game, Luca's probably still the best card to use because you can get off bad shots with him and they'll go in. But Dirk is just broken, guys. There's literally no point even looking at this page. Everything's perfect, but look at what they've done to him. Set shot 25 is Netaliki's jumper. Like He's got the Rudy Gate upper as well, which is such a high release point. Quick dribble style. Steve Francis size up. He's got the Curry escape intercept shot 25, which is going to be absolutely unguardable. I mean, it doesn't matter how good you are at the game. If you know how to do this, and you can get that shot off, it's going to be impossible to stop. It's going to take an elite on ball defender to stop him. And he's got Scotty by in the back as well, obviously. So, yeah, I mean, he's got the Curry leader as well. I didn't even see that. Good dunk packages. I mean, this card is just... It's, it's arguably, arguably the best card we've ever seen in the game. Actually, scratch that. It's the best card we've ever seen in the game. Like, we've had cracked cards before. Like, we've had, you know, Goat Yao and things like that in the past who were, were good within those metas, within the meta of those games. But within the meta of this game, this is the most overpowered card we've ever seen. So, there's two things that are going to happen today. Magic is um is obviously going to be millions right like millions of mt let's see if we can get back to him so we can have a look at him okay there he is cool i mean this card to be like both cards are unstoppable there's gonna be a huge debate right now there's gonna be people arguing magic better ducks better objectively ducks better uh but magic is also just as op like he is unstoppable He's got the same same issues. I don't like base three. I never have. It's too quick for me. But if you're like if you're good with that jumper, it's one of the quickest releases in the game. Uh, but he's also got the curry escape into that, which is and you know similar, well identical six to basically what Dirk had. So this card's going to go for like five six million MT, right? Um, so that in itself will kill the market like in one way. So that'll go the other way, right? Other cards will start to lose a bit of value because this card's so overpowered. People will be trying to use all their MT to get him. Uh, there's going to be a huge MT drain with people opening packs and things like that as well. But here's, here's, uh, here's what's going to happen today. Right, let's go to Dirk. Everyone's going to try and get this card. Like, there is an argument that he might be cheaper to get than Magic, depending on how many cards you currently have in your collection. If you're like 3,000 cards... It might be cheaper to get Dirk than it is to get Magic by buying the cards to do the Collector Award. But as much as Magic might drop the market a little bit, Dirk's going to push it through the roof. If you've got a card that's worth like 20, 30, 40k that's rare, that card has the potential to double in price, triple in price this weekend. Because rare cards are going to be things people are looking to pick up. They're not going to want to pick up 300, 400k MT card. So they'll pick up any card that's like 80, 90k instead. Even if it's like a diamond from season three. They'll, they'll rather pick up that card. Which is, you just need to go through your collection. If you see anything rare, anything rare, anything that's not widely available. And like I said, it sits around that 30, 40, 50k mark. There's going to be a huge markup on those cards. You can make millions of MT. So you can go one of two ways with this. Either you can, you know, throw your MT at picking up those cards if you want this Dirk. I'm way too far behind, guys, but I I want this card. I really want this card. I really, really want to use this card. But I'm not going to get to. I'm never going to get close to that collector level. So you've got that option. You can start picking up those cards to kind of, you know, boost your collection and, and get to Dirk. Then the other option is you can take advantage of the fact that a bunch of people are doing that. And you can start selling off cards. Like like I said, you got rare cards. You're going to make MT. I mean, I, collector level is something I've never thought about doing. It's like, 
is a huge MT drain, obviously. And yeah, there's people that have done it, no money spent, like JD, for example, but yeah, he puts time into the game that I never could. So this is kind of like unobtainable to me, but my God, what a card. I mean, no one saw that, like, it's another example of just something we just didn't see coming. This is like, this is 2K all over. I, I didn't, like, they've obviously updated Ray and Giddy in the last, well, the last 24 hours. And now they've updated the um, collector award. I did say, like, it's funny because I was talking about the hero locket. And I was like, it can only be so good because of the collector reward. I'm like, then I just don't think they're going to outdo the collector reward. And obviously you've got Dirk as well as 80 half badges, which certainly if you got it early made you 10 million MT. So you could argue it would have been hard to do that anyway, but now it's impossible. Now the collector reward is so good that it opens up space for the hero reward to be way, way better. And that, that's, a, that's a big positive again, something we didn't see coming. But again, they acknowledge that. They acknowledge that if they make the hero reward better than the collector reward, they were going to seriously piss off everyone that had done this collection. So they've managed to avoid that by just, again, high IQ play, exactly what they did with Giddy and Ray Allen yesterday. No one saw it coming. And then there it is. And obviously they posted yesterday that on Twitter that this was going to happen. But my God, no one saw this coming. I mean, that is just obscene. It's obscene. I, I mean, if I run into this card, I I'm going to quit. Like, if I run into him all magic, I'm going to quit. I, I, like, I, I can't. I, I, how are you supposed to stop this card? He's seven foot one with an uncontestable release and the best animations to get open for both, like, average and elite players. What do you do? Like, what, what, what do you do? Let's have a quick look at the set because I haven't really looked at it. Uh, Steph Curry's um, a reward, right? You guys know how much I love the hero version. Uh, is it uh, what? What? How do you get it? Is it playoffs because of the the um, finals? I'm assuming it's playoffs, but uh, yeah, I'm way behind, too far behind. Probably won't catch up on that, but I am tempted to go and get that. I don't know how much Invincible Steph Curry is, but I'm assuming he's going to get pretty cheap pretty soon because of this. Uh, but yeah, he's got the original owner on there, so he's definitely a reward. So I'm assuming it's playoff moments. Um, I don't. Have they got a weekend event? So these two have got OO. Is there the weekend event this week? Where you can get cards on TTO and TT offline? I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, the, the point of this video, don't wanna don't wanna drag it out too much, is uh Dirk is gonna is gonna completely change the market. Like you, you like there's gems out there, guys. Some of the some of the cards in this game are really rare. Like the hunt for glory cards are super rare. And they're like you know, they're not so expensive that a collector won't pick them up. They're going to need to pick up those cards to get to this point. Because there's not enough cards in the game to get to that without, you know, at least spending 50, 60, 70, 80k on a bunch of cards. But yeah, this weekend, I think people are going to acquire VC. I think there's probably going to be people that acquire other things. And they're going to go crazy to try and get this card. That is what's going to happen. It's going to be hyped. There's a whole other level. It's definitely going to change the market. And yeah... It's something to keep an eye on, but I still, I still cannot get over this card. I, ca I can't get over this card. I mean, like I said, him and Magic both are so far ahead. Like Invincible Luca is, like I said, Luca's just that card to use if you don't know how to play the game. I'm just putting it out there. He's a good card to use if you don't. That's not a, a shot at anyone, but if you just want to shoot fully contested shots all day, Luca's your guy. But Bob gets off those shots as well, guys. Like if you if you've used Bob, I, I have him. He gets off those shots as well. He is like wide open in the corner and he's like 6'9". So he's 7'1". What is um, Bob's upper? He's got Steph Curry upper. It's pretty good. But Rudy's is a higher release point. So he's taller and he's and he's got a higher release point on the same jump shot. That he, You could literally sit corner with him, shoot like fully contested shots. And if you are contested, you can curry escape and shoot wide open. I mean, that's it. That's all you need to do. And he's unguardable. It's wild. But yeah, the the market effect is going to be, I think, the most significant thing from this. All right, guys. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time. Thanks for watching, guys.